Hey again, boys and girls. Mr. Orthopedia here with another episode of Walk Me Through. Walk Me Through Tech, that is. Now, for those of you who don't know, Mac OS High Sierra was recently released to the public. And I am now opening the App Store so I can download it and upgrade. But you know the drill in doing so. It's gonna take some time, and when I get back, I'm gonna walk you through the install process, starting with the download process. It's downloading now, so it's gonna take a good six minutes. Of course, that's just the estimated time, but once that's done, I'll get back to you. Okay, now that we've gotten the, uh, We're gonna go ahead and install Mac OS High Sierra. Of course, come on, stay focused. I have to agree. And of course it's going to be saved into my Macintosh HD. Uh, well, looks like I gotta enter in my password. Can't let you see that. Hang on a sec. Gotta do. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, so hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Now is the arduous task of restarting your machine. This is pretty much mandatory if you want this install to be a success. moments of Mac OS Sierra and our first moments of High Sierra. If you hear any air passing through the mic, this, this is the reason why. Oh, yeah. It's going to do, it just started a reboot, and now it's going to boot into the new installer. Once this is done, I'll walk you through the process of, of installing the new OS. One thing I forgot to mention, you do want to back up some of your data just in case something goes wrong and you have to reformat your hard drive. I don't think anything will go wrong with my machine though. Anyway. Oh. Anyway. Incidentally, 
Hi Sierra has a new file system which has been optimized for SSDs but since my MacBook Pro still has an HDD I'm not sure how this is gonna work The install will take about, well, that's an estimate, uh, time remaining, which is 45 minutes. That's the estimated time, so I'll get back to you once this is done. Your machine may restart a couple of times during this process, so be aware of that. Lastly, make sure you have it plugged into your charger. The MagSafe adapter has been discontinued by Apple. <laughs> so you want to be really careful with that. So with that, I'll be right back in a moment. As you can see, we have upgraded to macOS High Sierra. But with that, we had a bit of a snag during the install process. Well, during the ups yeah, during the update process. It got stuck for a good 3 to 4 hours. And I had to force the thing to shut down. And then turn it back on and then well it worked fine I guess but as you can see we upgraded to high Sierra so one moment oops okay now let me see I forget but as you can see not much has changed at all but there is a new file system that's that's fairly different from the previous version of Mac OS and versions before that. So anyway, that's pretty much how you install Mac OS High Sierra on your MacBook Pro 2011 model. This has been Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. Orthopedia saying peace and that's a wrap. See you next video. Damn! 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 Damn!